Hello, this is Daniel Mart, and today I'm going to be doing another review. This time around, I'm going to be doing a comic book review. Yeah, I haven't done one of these in a long time. So yeah, I've been I discussed this in a channel update recently, if I'm not mistaken. Or I've been discussing this in a few videos. That I have so many comics to review, and some people ask me, you know, why don't you just drop the comic book reviews? And most is because one, I like giving out my thoughts. To, there's actually a few amount of people who still who enjoy it, despite the fact that it doesn't get as many views as they as a, a TV show review or a, or a movie review or any other type of video I do. It still gets some views, a decent amount, um, for what it, for for my channel. And so yeah, now do uh, now as I just said, to the to the amount of comics I need to review. Basically, what I've decided to do right now is group up all the comics. Uh, from an individual series I have yet to review and put them onto one. So, for example, like I'm gonna be doing in this one, I'm gonna be doing the la the review for the for the last three Sherlock versus um, Harry Houdini comics. Um, so basically, issues three, four, and five. Um, so yeah, and I'm gonna be doing this for a couple series. Um, spread The Walking Dead, maybe The Walking Dead. I don't know because The Walking Dead individual, um, individually comic book reviews get a lot of views on their own so maybe the walking dead i'll do an individual one per per um issue but i don't know about doing for spread southern bastards lobo um floor whatever whatever i have to do so yeah before i begin though 10 seconds spoiler warning as usual for those who have yet to actually watch um not watch read the comics issues three four and five of sherlock versus harry houdini for those who have yet to actually watch this video i mean Sorry, read the comic books and haven't already. Stop the video, go check it out, and come back and watch the rest of this review. 10 seconds spoiler warning as usual, starting now. So, yeah, 10 seconds are up. So, for those who have yet to actually watch this movie, um, this, who have yet to read these comics and haven't already, um, please don't comment down below or be messaging me, then never give you a fair warning because, as usual, I did. I need to fix that shit. I need to fix that shit. It's annoying the living shit out of me. Um, so yeah, basically, um, quick synopsis, um, likes and dislikes, and then the rate for each individual comics. Now I'm not gonna do a quick synopsis of every single comic. Um, I'm gonna be doing a quick synopsis of everything that happens within the span of these three books. Um, an overall general synopsis of all three combined into one, and then at the end I'm gonna be doing a an, a rate for issue three, an individual rate for issue four, and same thing for issue five. Um, so yeah, basically it starts off with an issue three. Just let me um, make sure I'm yeah um, yeah just let me make sure I have I'm starting off the right place. So yeah, you ba um, basically throughout this um, whole the last three issues, um, you, you basically have Harry Houdini and um, Harry Houdini and Holmes Sherlock Holmes, and they're still trying to figure out who is this ghost and what does he want and what are his motivations. This ghost is killing a few people left and right um he's, he's he tried to kill harry houdini and it's sherlock holmes he, I, he, he tried to kill, kill harry houdini's, houdini's wife um bessie houdini i think is her name uh so this guy's um this person is out for blood um that's basically it you know they're trying to figure out this ghost or who this guy and guy is what his motivations etc 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 and towards the end of the in issue five here um, if I'm not mistaken, they they do capture guy. Yeah, they capture a guy. Let me make sure I'm I'm saying this one correctly. Um, just want to make sure because I reread this, reread these comic books before I did this review. But I just want to make sure I'm I'm doing this one correctly. Um, but yeah, they capture a guy. He's kind of he's not dead. He's like um, I guess you could say he's in a coma or he's knocked out, whatever. And there, it seems like they're gonna take him to a remote island or a prison of some sorts. I. I don't know. I really don't know. So yeah, I mean overall, I thought this comic book series, um, because I mean it's fi it's a five issue mini series, but I thought these three, the last three, were pretty good for what they were. I will say, um, this com um, the re I, I I like the comic book series as a whole. It's just one and two as well. I liked it as a whole, but um, I always felt like this comic book series had something left to be desired. I always felt like they could have done a little bit more. Maybe they could have pushed the boundaries a bit more. They could have done something more, and here in the last three issues, again, there's something left to be desired. There's there's something left to be desired. Um, overall, the chemistry between Sherlock Holmes and Harry Houdini that's pretty good. Um, you do get some shocking revelations, deaths, whatever, in issue four and five. That was pretty good. Um, stuff in issue three that was okay. That was that was 
I, that was more like exposition in my opinion. Overall, though, it's a pretty good comic book series. Um, yeah, I mean the last three. I mean again, it's five issues, so issues three, four, and five. Whatever. Um, I will say the covers are always great. They look cool. Um, I don't know. I mean, oh, for me, all three comics have something left to desire. I mean, the writing and the artwork are pretty good. Um, for um, for the most part, are pretty good. Uh, I really do like, especially the artwork in my opinion. If you see, like, if you see the covers, this is issue three. The covers are like these kind of watercolor type of stuff. It's pretty good. The and in the artwork inside is also pretty good. Um, so I mean, you have uh, Sherlock Holmes, I believe, who gets arrested in issue four. That was pretty good, and basically he's arrested because um, he's being accused of killing Betsy Houdini or attempting to kill Betsy um, Betsy Houdini and whatnot. So yeah, I mean, overall, it's a pretty good comic book series. Um, to give a um, on a scale of one to ten, one being the worst, ten being the best, and six being decent. I'd give um, a 7 out of 10 for issue 3, 7 out of 10 for issue 4, and a 7.5 for issue number 5. So, so yeah, I mean, overall, that's basically it for this review. Um, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I do movie reviews, TV show reviews, and comic book reviews. Again, I'm going to try to speed it up on comic book reviews. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it all. And yeah, that's basically my thoughts on it. So subscribe. Again, 7, 7... For issue 3, 7 out of 10. Issue 4, 7 out of 10. And 7.5 for issue 5. So again, subscribe, comment down below on your thoughts on this series. Have you read it? And if not, why not? And if you have, what are your thoughts on it? And what are your thoughts on the um, last three comic book issues of the series? Comment all that down below. Let me know. Like the video, share on Facebook, Twitter, Facebook, or whatever you guys prefer. And that's basically it for now. This is Daniel Mart signing up.